Ether One. I guess this is a, I guess this is the Redux version, so they must have changed something. We're trying this today, as requested by Calliope Rannis. Which this has a strange history because this is going to be my second let's try of this game. This is a weird one. So I, I we did a let's try or a sad quickie, which is a, a funnier name. Uh, back in the day on the channel with Andrew on the sad games. That was a while back. Uh, I don't really remember much from back then, but we... Usually when a, when a thing was a quickie, it was because we were thinking we'd do a series on it, and then we were like, nope. And then whatever footage we got from the first session, I would edit into a one-off video because we weren't planning on coming back. So I've already bounced off this game once, and now we're going to preview it again. A little bit of a weird situation, but I told them that I've covered it before and showed them the video, and they're like, cool, do it again. And sure, I don't have this game covered on this channel yet. <laughs> hey, it's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more... You know I do it, but, but Jesus, do, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. All right. Not the best first impression of the return, just to see how none of the subtitles matched. They were the correct subtitles, I think. They just weren't matching with the timing for whatever reason. I guess because they they just had it auto-playing. And they must have told it to auto-adjust based on the... Can you go down? Oh, I had to click the arrow. It must have been auto-playing based on intervals. And they probably included the ringing and pause at the beginning as part of it. You will never forget. We can help. We can help. Then remember, pick up restoration information leaflet today. Institute of Telepathic Medicine. So on the surface, this game seems like my kind of jam because it's... Uh, did it not... Oh god. Did it not save? Because it seems like one of many, like, missed-like games. And it looks nice. But I think I remember... I think I can kind of remember... I feel like my... I feel like it's not getting any less fast. Keyboard controls. Nope, those are just the actual mapping. Minimum. <laughs> I... Is it changing at all? Alright, it's just very aggressive. century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human genome. At the forefront of these experiments, the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind, expanding the knowledge of our species. 1942, whilst the world was at odds with itself, the Ishin Initiative discovered Patient Zero. Uh, oh, did I walk out of its zone? I was thinking maybe I should walk while it was playing, because it was like, Taking this. In the mid oh, well, century. I'm not gonna start it over. All right, you are you. Usually, people there's that whole thing where like I, I pause and stand still, and like in the Stanley Parable, where people are like, don't just stand still, just keep going. It'll play with you. And then <laughs> I do that, and it stops playing immediately. Is that? It is. Oh, this is excellent. We're so glad to have you back. My name is Dr. Edmonds, but you can call me Phyllis if you like. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. There we go. 
No one will notice that that's like a riff on the other name. Robert Beard and Beardbert Rob, obviously. I don't think these open. Alright, I'll turn it down myself. I'll turn down the DPI on my own mouse. There you go, that's a little more manageable. I'm on minimum setting on my, both my mouse and the game now. It really it just wants to spin you. It wants you to spin fast. The Restorer. The next step. Items can be placed here. Terminal. Ether Solution 3.5. Ether Solution 3.5 suspended due to insufficient data regarding health and safety. Ratio of positive and negative effects upon consumption is currently 1 to 2. It is worth noting that the current positive effects have shown the intended outcomes of this experiment clearly. Positive effects include a stronger, more defined focus in patients, as well as a st stronger cognitive skills. Negative effects, however, have shown serious problems to the consumer, in some cases causing further short-term memory loss. Best prank yet. Hey James, I have totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend, especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings, usually on his own on maintenance within restoration chamber number three. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I've replaced the fuse in the Rembrandt power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy comes to do the power check on the chair, it's going to be a huge bang. He's gonna get scared to death. Wow, that's some ethical behavior you're doing there. That's definitely not gonna to lead to some workplace lawsuits or anything. All right, rude. All right, yeah. I think she said that I need something in order to even use the doors around here. Oh, here we go. Restoration procedure for patient J N two zero five seven will commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems we best get a move on. There's plenty to do, and for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening, and hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you, or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind, would you be a dear to head on down? That's not reassuring language to use. I'm here to make sure that hopefully nothing horrible happens to you. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> That's not what anyone wants to hear. Use stapler to staple things. I'm not gonna spend too much time on some of these documents. A little bit of a waste if I spend the entire let's try reading. Flavor text. Items can be placed here. But do I want to? these procedures don't, uh, how should I put it, go to plan. But really, there's nothing to see here anyway. Shouldn't you be heading to restoration chamber number three to meet me? You seem to be under the impression that I know where that is. And that is the incorrect assumption to make. How was that sound? Restorers may only carry one item at Yeah, there you go. I'm a restorer, apparently. I'm incredible. 
incredibly excited to get started with my new patient. A real chance to explore more what and prove that they're in fact fun. That one well. Definitely destroyed that. There it is. I have questions about what happened to the first two. A chessboard, some retro technology everywhere. But not necessarily the interactive kind. Aren't I a guy that's literally being treated for memory problems? Should you really have me like wandering blindly around here? Then he'll find his way. There's no dangerous things he'd get into in this while being unsupervised in the crazy tech place that messes with your brain. Why am I over a scary right. abyss? Would you be a dear and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. Yeah. God Shit. Sake. Why can't anything work around here? Okay. We need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By Boom, first try. Didn't even know there was different types of fuses. Maybe there aren't different types of fuses. I don't see numbers on them. All right, we good. Right? So I'm not the one being treated, it's this person named Jean. So like if this is if this is Inception, I'm Ellen Page. This is an isolation chamber, so I don't notice, don't have outside sensors that, uh, experiences that distract me. Okay, yeah, cool, I'll just drown. Surroundings. 
it keeps most restorers' sanity intact. For a short while, anyway. Press T to teleport to and from the case. You must have to get more tumblers to add to that. Tumblr is not what you call those. But you know what I mean. Got a little kitchen in my imagination. My imagination kitchen. That's my imagination chair. <clears throat> what the mind thinks the heart transmits. Our sole purpose this evening is to track the memory and pinpoint its location so we can cleanse it of any disease present. Everything you're seeing in front of you is a visual environment pieced together from our client's subconscious mind. Barren wastelands or an abstract painting reimagined. It's all completely tangible. All I can see are brain scans of tissue degradation confirming my previous diagnosis of dementia. Both are incredibly important if we are to succeed and understand our client's needs. Now, if you just give me a second, I'll have some more details for you. Feel free to explore in the meantime. Devlin Mine. Let's take a look. I think I remember there being like a density problem in this game with its puzzles. Where there was like a lot of environment and it was hard to figure out where you should be trying to go or what puzzles there might be. Unease in the mine, Mr. Moran. It's come to my attention during my inspection of the mining facilities here at Devlin that many of the workers in the pit are unsettled, uneasy, and as a result, unproductive. There's clearly a correlation between the pitiful work conditions that these men have to endure and their motivation to do productive and worthwhile work. Lifts and descent devices are clearly in disrepair. Ventilation in the chambers below are blocked, due, uh, causing fume and smoke buildup. With these issues and more in mind, it is my sincere apologies that I have decided that Devlin Mine should close temporarily until these issues meet the standards required by your governing union body. The mine is closed because bad, bad work condition. God, I'm such an idiot. I borrowed the air compression manuals in order to make repairs in the mine. I left it down past the blast doors. She warned me so many times about being forgetful. I just hope I can get it back before it gets lost forever. I can't afford for any more of my wage to be docked this week. Dan. You can, you can take that. It's worth noting that if you feel an item might be useful later on in your journey, and you have no use for it now, you can always store it in the case and collect it at any time. Oop. Interesting idea. This is like your inventory. Do I auto warp to the same spot? Yep. I th yeah, I think that's where I was. It's a reasonably pretty game. A few fidelity issues, but the style's kind of neat. Affecting them in a meaningful way. 
We've got a code on that door. Letter to Mr. Harvey of Hale. Dear Mr. Harvey, as I'm sure you're aware, my client, Mr. H. Smith, is intent on offering you a particularly generous, buoyant, of the Harvey & Co. Limited Enterprise. We would like to propose a meeting between parties and solicitors on the 15th of October at our offices in Devlin to discuss a potential acquisition of assets and trade. Be under no illusion, Dr. Harvey, Mr. Harvey. We are fully aware of your current financial disposition and are incredibly interested in rectifying the situation for you. There's a lot of text. I need to ensure that I remember the lock combination to Devlin's side entrance by the warden. But the warden banned me any of us from writing it down. Miners eat from metal plates, don't forget. Miners eat from metal plates. I need to find a four digit code somewhere. In order to open that door. Miners eat from metal plates. Sure hope that there's a kitchen around here. On one hand, I want to skip documents because the light's dry. And the flavor text about the mine isn't that worth spending like half the video on. But on the other hand, I'm well aware that like any of them could have puzzle stuff on them. This is a little bit of a weird game to do a let's try on. Miners eat from metal plates. Nope, I can just take those with me. Then you can just start obsessively jamming everything there. <laughs> it's mine, it's all mine. Fletch. Curious. Raisins. Might need a wrench, you never know. Gold leaf tobacco. This was metal, so I was like, maybe it has a code on it. Maybe it's a code. It's obviously not just a metal plate you'd eat off of, though. It's a tin for tobacco, but I don't believe I've seen an eating plate around here. Was there an alternate path? There's a cave over here. That looks like a hole in the terrain. What's that? Somebody had their picnic up here. Yeah, this is where we started. <clears throat> I don't think I missed a path.
Did I, I, <clears throat> I just missed this entire path, didn't I? <clears throat> Excuse me? Monday. I remember waking up here for the first time and feeling sad. For a long time I couldn't understand why I was here, but then I remembered smelling perfume. For the first time I was happy, but I'm not sure I know why. Today a nurse was holding my hand and asking me to calm down. I tried to explain I'd spilled a cup of hot tea and burned my arm. The pain was terrible. The nurse shushed me and told me my arm was fine. When I looked down I saw I was wearing a bandage. The nurse explained that I had an accident on Thursday, and I hardly heard a word she said after that. Somehow, I managed to lose three days. Did I write that, or did... What's her name write that? The other character... Oh, here we go. 1670. I didn't really mean to take that with me. What was the person's name that we're treating... There was a different person that was not me, right? That they talked about? I forgot their name. But I'm not really sure if I wrote that or they did. Okay, so I've been digging a little deeper into our client's personal history, and I found details of a strong emotional response to someone who once worked within the mine. An entry that discusses the mine at great lengths, but doesn't discuss whom the individual was that worked there. Continue to work your way down, further into the mine. It seems the center of this memory is very much at the heart of these industrial ratways. I'll contact you if I gain any more information. So, open air and steam, close everything else. She stirs beyond the waves. That's some flavor. Please ensure all the valves are in the correct position before lever activation. So I need to find these all. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Aaron's team. So, right, left, left, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left. Oh, there it goes. That cleaned things up in here. Can he go this way? Yeah. There just isn't really anything there. <laughs> sure hope all the water's cleared or I'm gonna drown. Down we go. Something ain't right in the mines today. Got a few more levers. Might be a rule about which ones I want to flip. Hide and seek. That's where you keep the canary. In the, in the coal mine. But when it dies, you have an indication that the air is poisoned. That's because smaller animals, if they are susceptible to pull to a poison, <coughs> are more likely to die first. can help store memories forever. Hmm. A projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. 
don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. That was a weirdly loud I'll sound. I'll store important notes like this downstairs in the case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. We had to seal the lower mines to stop the spread from smoking. The smoke from spreading. <laughs> spread from smoking. Can't... Can I fix this? Things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Find the book and place it. This sound seems like it's mixed weird, right? Let's see. Weren't you already open? Ah, oh, there it goes. For a second there, I just thought it cut to an animation of it, like, op opening when it was as if it hadn't already been there. Maybe I missed it slamming down. I'm gonna play with that, you definitely need to be turned off. If I'm supposed to do anything with the inside of that. Someone's a bit of a poet. So I guess there must be an air projection, an air compression manual somewhere. Stop making that sound. I figure I can pick something up and break it with one of the compressors. Can you open? Nope. Not the biggest fan of that sound. Oh right, I have the plate. They said to puncture a ho uh, hose. Yep. That's what the note mentioned. That has not resulted in you being unsealed, though. I've been naughty. Hey, you're fixing. So it's just getting fixed by me performing stuff around here?
But I really seem to need that book. Oh. I can't go back up. I figured, hey, there's a bunch of books up there. Maybe I can find the one about air compressors. What am I missing? can't really seem to pick anything up or really interact with anything around here. Could probably crush the plate. <laughs> or not. Nope, that was the one really specific thing they wanted me to, to break, apparently. successfully cut the pipe like they were hoping. Did I put the... I did put the glass here. I guess I'm wondering now, like, is there another tube to cut? I still have my pipe. I mean, my, my glass. I can't seem to interact with this. Oh, here we go. Ah. Rawr, I hate pipes. Kill them all. Kill all the pipes. Kill them dead. I hear the knock was calling me. Death. of perfume and it all comes flooding back and now I've got the book I can't be the only one noticing how, like, that doesn't... That book looks completely weirdly out of place. That's strange. The rough is very pimp today. We had a breakthrough. I sprayed a small amount of the perfume that the next of kin provided on the back of the armchair. Although there wasn't any verbal acknowledgement at this stage, I found that the patient seemed to be calm throughout the entire session. I'm going to wash it off tomorrow. And see if there's a direct difference, and if so, I may use it as an aid in future sessions. I don't know where you are in there or what it looks like to you, but our readings have trebled in the last few seconds. You must be incredibly close to the center of this memory. I think. Okay, bye. It is. Uh, our readings, uh, they're showing that this, that 
this is what's causing the symptoms of dementia in our patient. Or at least it's, it's part of what's causing it. Kill it. Destroy it any way you can. <laughs> I thought I already pressed it. Oh, press it again. Uh oh. Moments, like stars, are passing me by, burning so bright and so fast as if they never truly existed at all. They're so beautiful, so fragile. I want to hold on to them. I want to hold on and never let them go. Why can't I hold on anymore? Please. Well, that went down. I'm curious, because that, that did seem kind of smooth. Restora? Just... Uh, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. What you've just experienced was a relapse of our patient's condition. Hopefully you didn't cause too much damage whilst inside. Now, the objective as stated is to locate Jean's artifact. At this present moment in time, we don't know what this item is. We need to gather information from important memories our client can still understand. Their core memories. That went way smoother than it did last time, so I'm kind of curious. There's two things that are that are probably both to blame. Maybe? I'm curious. I don't know. I'm curious. Because this is the Redux, so I have no idea what they changed. But also, I did previously try to do this with another person, and, you know, some games are, are easier to play with al alone than with other people, and so on. It changes the experience a bit. Anyway, actually, no, yeah, I'm gonna take a look. The office, I think. I was in here. Well, I guess I'm crazy, because I'm looking back at the uh, old video, uh, and here. yeah, it actually looks roughly the same. Uh, see if I can get back to the weird thing that happened. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't I know, know something I'm strange. Okay, never gonna make sense. Holy sh yeah, look at that. So, like, I guess the projectors were supposed to be projecting something? Because, like, this, the perfume they were talking about was physically floating in front of the projector, I guess, which makes more sense than what I got, which is the projector doing absolutely nothing, which is really weird. Huh. It also looks like we cured it by putting the the book uh, on the shelf instead of in the bookcase, so... Okay. There's been some minor this weird changes Andrew. along the way. Take it? That's weird. Look, we actually made it further. Do this do is about all the time I have at the moment, easy. but it looks like we played a bit further, because we, we did think we were going to make a series out of it until we didn't. Uh, yeah, it's a really weird experience to let's try a game oh, twice, Molly, but I guess I did it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, like always, guys. You can Tell you can check out Ether one via the link in the description. And I'll see you guys next time. Lots of beans. And there'll be a link to the sad games version from four years ago if that's something you want to watch too. What's down here though?